Alright guys, here we are back on NR 2003 and we have a very special race today. A blast to the past. It's the 1970 Riverside International Raceway, the Motor Trend 500. I can't believe they drove 500 miles at a road course. I want nothing to do with that. So we're going to do 13 laps here today. 42 cars, 101 AI difficulty. Let's go ahead and get out on this legendary road course and see how we do. We're going to go ahead and qualify today because uh don't really want to have to come to the back here. But this mod is incredible. It looks beautiful. The track is very well made. And it drives great in this old 1970s big winged car. As you see, first section of the course is back and forth S's. And then up into what, in my opinion, is one of the most difficult corners. Probably would have been the most difficult corner at the time in NASCAR. I believe that's turn 9, the right-hander. Or am I mistaken? Turn 9 might be this one. Uh, down at the end of this long straightaway. Yeah, there's this long back straight here. This is in 1970, so no chicanes, no nothing. Just pure speed. If your brakes failed at this time, you were in deep trouble. So there was no safer barriers. This long right-hander. Uh, back out out on the front stretch here. So we take our time lap. Oh, a bit of a slide there. A little bit of dirt. It's Riverside. It happens. So we're going to be in third pretty much the entire way up the cesses. have to get the car slowed down early for this because it's deceptive over the hill here uh, it's important to get a good run through that corner it's out onto this super long straight of course the most important corner on the course is the one before the longest straightaway Learn that one from Skip Barber. Ease it off in here. Gentle, getting back on the throttle. Car tends to push there on the exit. Alright, we'll see how we did. good enough for 24th on lap one. We're going to push a bit harder now. Whoa. The inside of the hill off into the dirt there. Still, still wheeling it. see if that was faster it's kind of all over the place but I sent it in real hard Tightened up so bad there. Time might not be better. All right, there's the checker. What is a lot better? 120 with a four, but only good enough for 19th. So we got a mid-pack starting spot. I will see you guys in the race. Drivers, start your engines! All right, guys, it is race time here in the Motor Trend 500. 
got 13 laps here today at the Riverside International Raceway. Starting from 19th place, we got Richard Petty on the pole. Now this uh, racing was a little bit before my time, but I still think it's crazy that they ran 500 miles at a road course. And uh, as far as I know, the track drew pretty good audiences. It really sucks that they closed it and, you know, demolished it all, but... We can still enjoy it in amazing sims like this, so hope you guys enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to, but most importantly, enjoy the race. So we get the green flag and the Motor Trend 500 at Riverside. Be conservative here in the early going, not sure what the AI is going to do. Two by two by two now. It's like Petty lost the lead up there. Now if practice is any indicator, we have a very good straight line speed, so we're gonna hope to make use of that here on this long back straight, as you'll see soon. Just got a bit more up top. Got a chance to fly three wide here on the inside. We're going to do it. The car slowed down for this final turn. This is a difficult corner for me. Wendell Scott goes door to door with me. He takes that spot back with authority. Very nice move. Lost one spot there on the first lap down to 20th, but that's okay. Oh, as they go very slow, Wendell saves himself by jutting to the left. Wow. That was very close to dead. This car is a bit twitchy slowing down right now. trying to look to the inside there no real point in my opinion when we have such good straight line speed we'll just utilize it right now Can be close enough to dive to his inside no I don't think so try the other way around inside of the next corner it's our weakest corner on the track, in my opinion. Managed to hold it side by side with them, though. Who's going to be braver here in T1? Oh, we go door to door. Don't hit the wall. Whew. All right, then. So Brooks holds on to it by asserting some authority there. It's kind of my fault, I think. I turned in on him a bit, but... Good hard racing. Just gotta stay close for our next chance on the long back straight. We've got Wendell Scott ready to catch us if we make any mistakes, so... Try and minimize. We're going to be close enough. We just wiggled a little bit on the exit there, and that cost us. Ooh, that car is hunting for that concrete there on the outside. So we got 
plenty of time to make some moves. Ooh, we're flying over that right-hander. Had to jump on the brakes. Take it in second there to minimize the wheel spin, and it works out well. Brooks has some slipstream, but we've got big power with the suck. Got a chance to get to his inside. We're going to go for it. To back out early, being on the outside. Clears me. We're going to try it crazy move to the inside oh, our car is not gonna set not gonna stick somehow Brooks makes a pass out of that oh yes make a great move there on the inside suddenly shifted up into fourth and in the excitement got a smile on my face right now. I'm having so much fun racing for 18. That's what it's all about, man. It ain't about winning. Of course, winning is great, but having fun racing is really where it's at. We're going to be at eight to go this time when we get back to the line. Big speed, take it to the outside so we have the inside of the final corner. Clear on the left. Left side. Just Clear not on brave left. enough on the entry there. Clear. Uh, our car is pushing towards that outside wall. Brooks still holding us back. a bit wide there and we are all over his back bumper Ooh, caught a bit of the sand there out spun me out this is an intense battle surely have him now. We're all over him. Wait till the last second to pull to the inside. Clear him no problem there. Hopefully we have enough ground that will hold the position as we take it hard into the final corner. I choked. Oh man. Been pushed so hard towards the outside wall. I didn't want to die, so I had to let up. We gotta do it all over again. a bit of a stupid lunge there. Thankfully, no contact. Definitely getting antsy now. This race hits its halfway point. Finally get around him for good. Try and 
protect the inside this time. Not get tight, and we do it. Finally, an overtake. It's in my head though. I'm so worried about making a mistake right now. Pretty good in the S's, so pull a little bit of a gap, and that should be all she wrote. We look up the road to Elmo Langley. Oh, we kicked that curb there. Ooh, a little bit of a slide. We've had lots of close calls in this race, but just managing to hold it together. So we can't track down a top 15 before all is said and done. Low as we've seen, getting to somebody and making a pass are two very different things. Five laps to get the job done. As you see, they're getting a bit racy up ahead of Elmo there, so it's gonna bring them even closer to me. chance at elbow here only four tenths back as we start the straightaway although he's got the suck from uh, Spencer ahead got it can we hold it into the last corner try and protect the bottom do have it. No problems with Elmo. Up in the 16th now. Chance to get to the inside of Spencer here. Stay on the right. Stay on the right. Should have the speed to get him on the straight. It's gonna be a top 15. Time for more. Finally getting through that turn halfway decently. Still leaving a lot on the table, but... We are just so good in that right-hander to start the uphill S's. It's crazy. Stay close enough here, we could have a two for one on the back straight. Keep to the right. Keep to the right. Stay on the right. We're on the left. Left 
have that drag to get by the Plymouth here. Got big speed. We're gonna at least have a chance here on the inside. Oh my goodness, we almost complete the pass. For Brave and T1, we could do it. No! That's bad. Oh no. Not Brooks. Not again. Just overdid it a bit there. Such a disappointment. There's no point but to drive like a madman. And there went our top 15 as well. Maybe just maybe we could get it back. And have one lap do a big big job here do we just choke on the second to last lap it's very disappointing still a potential for a decent result all right we take the white flag and the motor trend 500 time we get through T1 okay. Just gonna abuse the dirt a little bit there. It's Riverside. Won't be racing here if you didn't. Tenths back. Do we have a chance? We're gonna lick the stamp, baby. I'm pushing my gas pedal through the floor right now. Come on, get there. Get there, baby. No! Could have run him out into the wall, but I'll just take 17th. And a good race, one big mistake cost me, but finish 17th. And it is a fun time driving at Riverside. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Go ahead and do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you're new and you enjoyed that. Like and comment on this video, and I will see you in the next race.